Okay, hello viewers. Good afternoon to us all. Um, as I told you that if you stay tuned to this channel, this being our first video, we are going to learn the basics or talk about the basics in mathematics. You see, in mathematics, for mathematics to be easy for you, you should know the basics in mathematics. And the basics are in mathematics are in four ways. That is the four signs in mathematics are the only signs or the only basis that can help you to be good in mathematics. If you want to be a great student or a good student in mathematics, all you need to do is to learn or master the signs. What are the signs I'm talking about? The signs are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. If you know the signs, the signs will help you to build the foundation in mathematics. So, viewers, I will urge you to let your kids or you yourself to be good in mathematics, master the science. My name is Christian Malvo, a graduate from St. John's Grammar Senior High. This will talk about how and the easy way to make mathematics better for us all. To be good in mathematics, you have to learn the science. So, as Times goes on. I want you to stay tuned to this video as we learn the easy ways in learning or solving mathematics. So we should practice how the mathematical uh, the mathematical operation that is the addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. How is being used in every aspect in mathematics. We say this science to be easy, but if we know and we master this science. Mathematics is going to be easy for us. So let us try as much as possible to master this operational science. And if we do so, our mathematics well, science that we are talking about, we have to every day in our lives practice this. The addition, the subtraction. You will notice that in mathematics, addition goes with subtraction. Multiplication also goes with division. So, if you want to learn the other, let's master one. So, let's talk about the multiplication and the division. You will see that if you are multiplying two numbers, your result, you can use one of the number to divide your result. Let's say we are to multiply 9 times 2. Multiplying 9 times 2 will give us 18. So, we are dealing with the multiplication sign here. Now, this 18 here, any of these two numbers can divide our result. So 2, 2 will divide 18 9 times. And 9 will divide 18 2 times. So what am I trying to say? What I'm saying is that as we learn the multiplication, the division will come by itself. So if we want us to build a strong foundation in mathematics, then we should try and make sure that these four signs in mathematics we are, or we are good or we mastered in this science. And as we do that, mathematics will be very easy for us. Now, what are we coming to talk about? We are coming to talk about mathematics in the upper primary and mathematics in the junior high school level. So as we stay tuned to this video, we will get to know how to solve some questions in upper primary and the JHS level. Now let me talk something small about the JHS level. When it comes to the JHS level, in our final exams, we get to know that there are some 30 30 questions that they repeat mostly that are the sub questions. Questions like substitution, questions like integers, questions like fraction. So these are some topics that we repeat it as a sub-question in every examination. So with this, we are going to use or learn how to solve any mathematics question without any difficulties. So I want you to stay tuned this and every Friday as we upload our videos to teach ourselves how to solve mathematics in an easy way that will help all of us. Now, God willing, when we meet again, we are going to talk under or about a topic in the upper primary. 
I would like you to stay tuned and don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.